There is something to be said about the blue zones of the world. These beautiful exotic locations have produced 20 times more of the longest living people, also known as centenarians. In many places, the average lifespan is 75 years old, but centenarians live to be 100 years or more. And Blue Zones is the home to most of these men and women. The food is simple, no fancy lasagna or baked Alaska cakes. The exercise is natural everyday things, and to put it a different way, they stay healthy without trying too hard. Unlike first world countries, urbanization of districts and neighborhoods aren't a thing, choosing to keep nature's beauty around them instead. Because these islands have been kept separate from the rest of the towns, old traditions have been preserved and their foods untouched and undiluted from chemicals. Join in as we explore the five blue zones of the world, and that's Akaria, Greece, Okinawa, Japan, Loma Linda, California, Sardinia, Italy, and Nicoya, Costa Rica. First off, we start with Acaria, Greece. The rugged terrain, cleaned air, and warm breeze drives these natives outdoors and makes for a happy life. Yeah. How does it feel for you to be eating fish that you just went out in the sea and caught a little bit earlier? It's a nice feeling. You eat your own fish, it's a nice feeling. Although life on Ikaria is likely to be long, it's not guaranteed to be easy. What Ikarians consume, Ikarians produce. The healthiest centenarians in Ikaria mimic mountain living, and with everyday gardening, doing yard work, or simply visiting a neighbor's house, they are getting their exercise mindlessly. Because of their daily social interactions and visiting friends, Ikarians stock up on teas and choose this drink over coffee to bring people together and provide that joy. Blue zones are known to make family a priority, so by keeping them close and sharing a strong glass of red wine in moderation and playing dominoes late at night has surely added to their quality of life. Clocks, schedules, to-do lists are almost non-existent as their life is experienced without this. During mid-afternoon, Akarians keep stress levels low by taking a nap, and due to timers being ignored, it's likely they sleep until their body wakes them up naturally. And finally, their way of eating is one of the most important things. By enjoying a Mediterranean diet with lots of olive oil, this town is almost entirely free of dementia and diseases that affect Americans, where one in three make it to their 90s. Also different is they choose goat's milk instead. This drink taken in a grass-fed form provides potassium and a stress-relieving hormone. It's also great for people who are lactose intolerant. And lastly, Akarians have traditionally been fierce Greek Orthodox Christians. This religion calls for fasting that cuts 30% of calories, and studies have shown time and time again that fasting definitely has its benefits. In the past, Akarians were forced inland after the Turks, Persians, and Romans invaded Greece. But what's left now is an isolated culture rich in tradition, family values, and longevity. Before we keep going, hi, my name is Kim, and welcome to The Green Lab Coat. If you enjoy living a healthy lifestyle backed by science, make sure to hit the like button to help the algorithm. And for more videos on a plant-based world and corruption in food industries, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for complicated subjects made easy. Let's get started. Once called the land of immortality, Okinawa, Japan is known for being home to many of the longest living women. Men too, but mostly females. With less cancer, dementia, and heart disease, you have to wonder what they're doing differently. What we grow in the vegetable garden, we cook, and the customers taste it right away. We have a way of life where the vegetable garden and the kitchen are closely linked. And as a nutritionist, I feel that the food is very fresh. Their average age is 91 years old. They're still working as a dancer, a tofu producer, and an association president. I forget my age when I work. If I don't have that, I can't live. Okinawan men and women feel well needed by their family well into their 100s. Ikijai is defined as the purpose that drives these folks every morning to get out of bed. They have clear roles and this keeps them living longer. Forming a moai, or a group of lifelong friends that support social, financial, health, or spiritual interests, provides friendships for life and adds to their joy. The Okinawans are also very physical. 
Older Okinawans opt to have meals and relax on tatomi mats on the floors and don't have much furniture. They get up and down several dozen times a day, which helps balance, lower body strength, and protects against dangerous falls. They've also either grown a garden or are avid gardeners. The physical movements provide exercise and being in nature reduces their stress. It's also a great source of food supply. In doing so, they're also achieving their goal of daily sun exposure. And even better is when they're growing medicinal gardens. Herbs with proven medical qualities like turmeric, ginger, and muckwort are everyday specials. Older Okinawans have eaten a plant-based diet their entire lives. Stir fries, sweet potatoes, and tofu are almost everyday meals. Goya is something also of particular interest to them because of its high antioxidants and compounds that are supposed to lower blood sugar. And as far as soy, this could actually be the thing benefiting women. Although studies out there have made tofu sound like a villain, it's processed versions that were used. And not to mention, the amounts of soy used in many of those studies were too much to eat in a day. With that said, you have to wonder if in its natural fermented unprocessed state, if high amounts of soy are actually okay. Tofu is supposed to help estrogen activity in women. And again, these are the women living the longest. The attitudes of Okinawans is one that comes from years of adapting to hardship and then accepting it with humility. They don't dwell on the past and are grateful for life's simple pleasures. In the United States, there's one city that's producing a high number of centenarians and that's Loma Linda, California. More specifically, it may be the fulfillment they get from faith. Well, I've been very fortunate uh, in is that uh, I haven't had any physical deficits. You know, I don't have any trouble with my joints. My hands are steady. Uh, my balance is good, you know. I don't have any trouble with my balance. I don't have to walk with a cane or anything like that. So I'm basically no different than what I was 50 years ago. A Seventh-day Adventist make up the majority of Loma Linda citizens. And there are many rules set in place when it comes to eating, have worked synergistically with their faith to keep them happy and thriving. Smoking, drinking alcohol, and caffeinated drinks, and eating full-fat dairy are avoided. Meats are reserved for special occasions, and the town's grocery stores and shopping centers cater to their plant-based way of eating and healthy lifestyle overall. Additionally, their way of eating is derived from a Bible verse, and this includes fruits, vegetables, refined grains, and low sugars and salts. It was found that Adventists, who ate legumes three times a week, had a 30 to 40% reduction in colon cancer, and if they ate two servings of fruit per day, lung cancer was reduced by 70% compared to Adventists who ate one serving of fruit per day. Snacking on nuts is also common, and those who consumed them five days a week had half the risk of heart disease and lived two years longer. Just remember that with nuts, it's easy to overeat. And then third, by making it a point to drink high amounts of water and simple exercise like walking, has shown to really pay off. Lastly, and probably the most important right behind their diet, is their emotional well-being. Seventh-day Adventists are known to be happy, cheerful, and kind people. One day a week, they take part in a 24-hour Sabbath, which allows them to rest and reflect on life. And by spending time with other Adventists who live the same lifestyle, they're able to encourage each other and keep up this healthy way of life. Sardinia, Italy, carries the M26 marker. That is the longevity gene. Strong family ties, support, and attention to their seniors are the signs of Sardinian families and the main tradition of this extraordinary island. <laughs> I like the calm, quiet life without any fuss in order to not hurt anything because all my life I have worked hard. But I survived and I'm still alive. I'm relaxing now. I'm enjoying my life. People of Sardinia have been linked to this rare genetic gift, more specifically the men. This town is set to birth the longest living men on the planet. Because Sardinia is isolated from the rest of Italy, old traditions and beliefs have been fortified. The Sardinians eat unprocessed meats with red wine. They believe in a lean, plant-based diet with accented meat. Whole grains, beans, fruits, and vegetables are everyday staples, with some implementing mastic oil. 
Now, the Italian culture isn't lost in Sardinia. Pecorino cheese from grass-fed sheep and goat's milk, which is considered an A1 milk, easier to digest, and anti-inflammatory, is what they opt for instead of milk from cows. Dairy from cows is the number one thing people are told to quit when an inflammatory disease is present. Therefore, goat's milk is much better. Also, Cano Nau de Sardinia is the wine Sardinian residents opt for. It has higher levels of artery scrubbing flavonoids by two or three times. And by drinking this moderately with friends, they are less stressed and it invites good company. Each afternoon, Sardinian men and women come together in the streets to share a good laugh. The men especially are known for their sardonic sense of humor and all these things combined could be why these men are living the longest out of all the other men. Could it be the wine does the men good but women react differently? It's unknown, but centenarians have been both men and women in this town. The priority to make sure every family is cared for and feels loved and the celebration of elderly people, which is rare in the United States, has not surprisingly led to lower levels of depression and stress. Additionally, Sardinian shepherds walk five miles a day or more, and all this walking has led to all the cardiovascular benefits you might expect, including benefits to the muscles and bones. Sardinia, Italy has produced around 10 times more centenarians per capita than the U.S. And finally, we have Nicoya, Costa Rica. Just south of the Nicaraguan border, this 80-mile peninsula has a famous saying, and that's plan de vida, which means reason to live, and is indicative of their zest for life. Meet Jose Bonifacio, 100 years old and still jumping on his horse every morning. In America, this would be viewed as a rather unhealthy breakfast. Rice, beans, tortillas. It's way better for you than you think. This is the whole corn that's been ground up. If the average American could eat a cup of beans a day, it would add four years to their life expectancy. A morning ritual that's washed down with a cup of black coffee. While the Caribbean island is home to a tropical rainforest environment and an alluring coastline, the strong sense of community that each of them carries is seemingly at play when it comes to longevity and enjoying a healthy, fruitful life. It's tradition that elderly men and women live with their children and grandchildren, provide daily human interaction, but also purpose. That desire to contribute to something greater comes from the feeling of being needed. So needless to say, this definitely isn't a culture where older generations are being or feel forgotten. But more than that, Nicoyan centenarians know how to listen with love, laugh, and appreciate what they have overall. Visits from neighbors are a daily thing. By combining that with great health, they have a magic formula. For most of their lives, a Mesoamerican diet with squash, corn, and beans is the traditional diet. They're also very physical and believe in doing everyday chores to keep their stamina. And what we can't forget is how they get their calcium, which may help lower rates of hip fractures, heart disease, and stronger bones overall. And finally, they make it a point to catch a little bit of sun rays each day, sensibly of course, to make sure they're getting their daily absorption of vitamin D. In the grand scheme of things, there's a few things that all blue zones have in common. Chronic stress is non-existent. Nature is always around them. Community helps them thrive. Faith and spirituality are essential. Exercise is simple, and their diets are mostly plant-based and unprocessed. The most mind-blowing thing is they've always done this by default. No one telling them this will make you live longer, but more so doing it out of tradition and doing it mindlessly. The most important thing to take from this is that people in the U.S. and everywhere else are living shorter lives with many years of disability in the end. We can be like centenarians and live the longest possible life with the fewest years of disability. In the end, the choice is ours. So comment down below and let me know which blue zone way of life most appeals to you.